let's now understand the very important aspect that I want to mention here is the test for the terminal alkyne, which is also something that can be asked in one form or the other. The distinguishing tests, you know what is special about them, you should be able to detect it from your naked eyes. And terminal alkynes contain acidic hydrogen, which you know now. So such alkynes react with ammonical solutions of silver nitrate and cuprous chloride. Okay, so you will see that the reaction is like this. We are taking the terminal alkyne, right? What is here? Acidic hydrogen, terminal alkyne, ammonical silver nitrate. Okay, sometimes you might also see Tollens reagent written. Okay, so do not get confused. Both are same Tollens reagent or ammonical silver nitrate. So if this is what you see, understand what's going to happen. Acetylene reacts with ammonical solution of silver nitrate to produce silver alkynide. Okay, so... What is going to happen is, you see, this is what that is formed and it's a precipitate, right? And uh, this is what we can observe from the naked eye. So, acetylene reacts with ammonical solution of cuprous chloride. Now, again, a very similar reaction with this coordinate complex will happen. But here, the color of the PPT will be different to produce dicopper acetylide. The red PPT is formed. So. Here we get a white PPT and here we get a red PPT. Check it out. The red precipitate. Acetylene, ammonical cuprous chloride. What we get is a red PPT. What we get is two moles of water and ammonia. Right? So why is it happening? You know that acidic hydrogen is here. So carbon can have a minus if the H plus is lost. And the moment it is lost, you know that these metals are in the hunt for this kind of a situation. If there is a reactive metal and there is an acidic hydrogen, it will immediately sit at, at its place, right? So here there's a possibility copper is in plus one state. You can check here. Carbon is in minus. In fact, here also there is this acidic hydrogen here also. So what you get is this kind of a precipitate, which is red in color. Anywhere you see something which can be distinguished from the naked eye is becomes a test for unsaturated, uh, becomes a test for uh, detection, for distinguishing, right? Like we saw in the test of unsaturation. We saw the color changes happening, right? Reddish orange color of bromine in carbon tetrachloride got decolorized. So we saw, we saw that it was test of unsaturation. Here we are talking about the test for the hydrogen actually which is acidic is actually going and at its place some metal is sitting if ag is sitting at the place of that acidic hydrogen we get a white precipitate observable from the naked eyes if at the place of this hydrogen copper is sitting we get a red precipitate so please understand the two can be distinguished from the naked eyes can be observed from the naked eyes and hence they become the test Test here for what? Ammonical silver nitrate or ammonical cuprous chloride. Both of them, what we are getting are PPTs. So they are used for the test for finding out the terminal alkynes. Okay. So the terminal alkynes react with ammonical solution of cuprous chloride. Right. CuNH3 twice. There is a plus here. OH minus. This is the complex. This is the coordinate compound. Right now, I'm simply calling it ammonical solution of cuprous chloride. Okay, so to give a red precipitate, right? So terminal alkynes, ammonical cuprous chloride, red precipitate, right? Whereas when we are talking about acetylene, we are adding ammonical silver nitrate. What we are getting is acetylene reacts with ammonical silver nitrate to produce disilver acetylide. Okay, again. You, know, you should know that it is white in color, so easily distinguishable. Like here, we have, let's say, but one ion. Do we have terminal alkyne? Yes. If we add ammonical silver nitrate, what will happen? We get a white PPT, right? But what if I add ammonical silver nitrate to a non-terminal alkyne? Then you know that there will be no reaction. So the moral of the story, 
moral of the story is simple when we saw there are in acetylene there are two acidic hydrogens right a monical silver nitrate if you're adding both the acidic hydrogens are getting replaced by this silver ion now silver ion right whereas when we are adding a monical cuprous chloride what we are getting is this particular species red in color right so the reactions are noted i am sure very important will be very helpful please check out the two things that we have just mentioned here the red ppt and the white ppt okay now the test is clear only terminal alkynes react with ammonical solution of silver nitrate or cuprous chloride okay so only terminal alkyne this is the moral of the story so this reaction can be used to distinguish between non terminal and terminal alkyne wherever there is this kind of a distinguished behavior coming if we have a non terminal alkyne and if we have a terminal alkyne what to do you know what to do if you want to test which one is what use either a monical solution of silver nitrate or a monical solution of copper or cuprous chloride cool now if i show you what is happening check it out see what's happening we have taken a monical silver nitrate which is also called like i told you tollens reagent we are letting the look at this we have opened this and some gas has come out and you can see the gas the first one was let's say a non terminal alkyne whereas the other one was a terminal alkyne so for the terminal alkyne we are getting a white ppt with the tollens reagent whereas a non terminal alkyne is giving you no reaction sorted are you ready for a question a previous year question let's see if you can nail it or not the question is which is the most suitable reagent among the following to distinguish compound 3 from the rest of the compounds what is compound 3 oh there is a terminal alkyne point to be noted my lord what is your terminal alkyne what is it saying you have to distinguish compound 3 from rest what are the rest of the compounds this is non terminal alkyne okay perfect what is this this is an alkane okay alkane can we use this particular ammonical silver nitrate let's say to distinguish uh, the terminal alkyne with alkane of course terminal alkyne will give a white precipitate whereas alkane will not react only no reaction but what are the other methods also that you have learned in order to distinguish an unsaturated compound from an, from a saturated compound bromine in the presence of carbon tetrachloride and also you know bears reagent cold and dilute kmno4 right so please understand what do we have non terminal alkane alkyne we have alkane and we have alkene the options are a bromine and carbon tetrachloride b bromine and acetic acid c alkaline kmno4 d ammonical silver nitrate fire rapidly very rapidly fire rapidly come on easy one bingo if such questions comes alkane from alkene bromine and carbon tetrachloride or kmno4 you know that bears reagent can be used perfect alkene and alkyne in that we need to be very careful we need to be very smart alkene and alkyne we can use bromine and carbon tetrachloride to distinguish the two we need to have an alkyne which is a terminal then only we can use ammonical silver nitrate so the right answer here to distinguish this terminal alkyne with the rest is option d ammonical silver nitrate